Hi everybody, this is Lisa with Shabby Time Boutique and this is the second video that I wanted to post today. I wanted to um, show you what I've been doing with printed photos onto fabric. So this is what I use, sorry about the glare. Again, I'm using my iPhone because my regular camera is, I gotta figure it out. Um, anyway, I hope this works for you. This is an inkjet printing, and you can see that it's on cotton. Um, it's made to use with inkjet printers and inkjet copiers, and it gives you little examples uh, on cork and a fabric and a canvas and t-shirts and such. Um, and it's really super easy to use if you know how to use your printer. So this came with 30 sheets. They're eight and a half by 11 sheets. And I found these, um, a bunch of them actually, at the Goodwill. Uh, they were very inexpensive. I think I paid a buck and a half for each package that I got. Um, someone was just getting rid of them. So keep your eye out at your thrift stores because people get rid of stuff like this. <laughs> Okay, so here's what it's like. Um, on the one side, it's you can't really tell. I don't know if you can tell with my camera, but that is a cotton fabric. And on the other side is just plain copier paper. And uh, so you run it through your copy machine and with the photos that you want, say from Pinterest that aren't hopefully copyrighted and yeah, sometimes you know sometimes I don't know and I'm making them for myself so who cares um these actually that's a horrible attitude to have I should care okay you should care but it's really hard to tell sometimes unless it says so anyway uh let me show you first these are a couple smaller ones that I did and you probably recognize the images oops this one's upside down they're out there on Pinterest and the internet all the time. Um, and so I just scaled it down. You can see there's my fingers. So it's about two and a half inches, three inches. Really nice for a tag or whatever. Um, and then you simply peel off the back. And I can't do it to show you. Maybe I can. There we go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do it with two fingers, yeah. So uh, you peel it off. Now, these aren't sticky, so I don't know how they got it to stay on the copy machine paper, but they're just uh, fabric, cotton fabric. And so you can stiffen it, you can glue it, you can, you know, a lot of people, they'll put uh, batting underneath when they do their photos it gives it a real nice effect so that's that and I'll just show you a few things that you can print um, this one is one of my favorites this one came out really good I did nine of them I think and you can see I used one so it came out pretty good for being printed on, on cotton sorry about my finger I'm doing my camera sideways to hopefully get a better view Okay, there's that one. Um, this one came out really good, this lady. Now, if you want really crispy, clear images, uh, I don't know if this is for you. It might do better on a different fabric. Actually, my camera's not showing it, but this is actually pretty clear this one so there's that I did um, some stamps there's some Christmas stamps and then this little girl I'm still learning how to not waste the paper in my machine here's some larger ones these are I think five by seven and then this uh, well let me show you where'd it go I lost it. Okay, this one, can, if, can you see what's wrong with this picture? Oh, I wrote it at the top. Darn, I cheated for you. It came out backwards. So if you're going to be printing anything onto fabric, 
um, or anything else, I guess, that has numbers or letters, um, then it's going to come out backwards. So this is kind of a wash, except for I can use, you know, the Eiffel Tower and maybe get away with it if nobody's really paying attention. <laughs> so I redid it and then um, here's actually the right way. And you just, there's a thing in there in editing that you say flip. And so it flips it and does a mirror image of it and puts it the right way. Okay, there's that. Oh, here it is, just a sec. So that was all on cotton. This I did on vellum. And look at how pretty that came out. Can you see that? That's that little girl that we all love her picture. Um, you can see my hand underneath it. And there's just all kinds of stuff you can do with that and uh, types of effects that you can get using it printed on vellum. And I just ran that through. Some people said they had a hard time with it, but this was my first try, so it, I was very pleased with it. Okay, so that's that. Um, I just want to show you a few of the tags that I made using those. So here is a set of little three inch tags. Oops. Got caught. Sorry about the camera, guys. I'm again trying to do too much with one hand. So these are the ones I made, the little ones that I used some images from. And they're really pretty. I mean, the colors are gorgeous, right? So it really gives it a different effect than if you just use a uh, regular crafting paper. Okay, and then here's another one I used, this one. Here's, um, oh, that's not it. And then here's one. So I love the way these look on a tag. Um, they're rough. You know, I use some ink around the edge and it bleeds in a little bit. I love that effect. And then it you can maybe kind of see the fibers sticking out. It just kind of it gives it an old effect and a beautiful effect, I think. Um, just my last one because I did it in the same set. This is, I used some embossed paper. I mean, I embossed the tag and then I ran a distress ink over the top to bring it out. Put some washi paper, tape around and this flat back key, a little bit of this, and bam, you got yourself a steampunk tag. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching. I appreciate every one of you. Um, I, I'm kind of in the middle, I have been in the middle of family and a couple of emergencies that are no longer emergencies so hopefully now I can get back to my crafting and upload some videos for you to watch and learn from. Please comment down below uh, if you have any questions add those too. Thanks and make it a good one.